what's up y'all welcome back to another vloggy vlog today is friday we are getting ready to head to the nest line i have to get a pedicure y'all my toes are horrible this is my outfit for today this is a two-piece set affirmation set oh my hand was over the speaker sorry i hope y'all i hope the volume didn't go out but this is my affirmation set from fearless bell two-piece set super cute super comfortable i have it in this color right here which is like a peachy orange and then a green and on the sleeve it has an affirmation it says shine your light just a reminder to shine your light and i love it and then we have fearless bell right there and right there we have our pockets and i'm just wearing some sandals because i'm getting my toes in anyways let's head out i know tomorrow i'm thinking about getting together with my friend and just like having our families together and going somewhere fun that's still in the works we haven't decided if we're going to do it for sure but i do want to go to the farmer's market tomorrow so we'll probably do that sunday we're going to wet and wow my sister is meeting us out there with my nieces and nephew and we're gonna have a ball out there we need to get a grill so we can grill out like what is memorial day weekend without throwing some stuff on the grill so we need to get a grill or either i'm gonna pull out our indoor grill and throw some stuff on that anyways let's focus on today and the first thing we need to do is get these toes up so let's head to the nail salon and get it done okay y'all do y'all know how when you like you can feel someone looking at me and honey i'm over here jamming in my song and the lady beside me God, every time I move up, they move up. But I just feel them staring at me, staring a hole into my cheek over here. I guess they like, that girl over there is getting it. Boy, what is she listening to? I'm like, this is the after. So silly. So toes are done and girl I had to get the man name who did my toes because I've yet to find like a place that I really really love well no let me take that back because the last time I got my toes done the girl name was Victoria I remember that name because she did an amazing job but I just didn't feel like driving to that nail salon because it was a little farther out but this guy today Tony did his thing I got peach and I don't know I guess because of my peach outfit I got the same color that I um, have on my toes are the same color and they are so beautiful love them I actually went on um, Amazon and I was like let me find me a gel polish so I can do my nails like a gel X set and polish my nails to match my toes but all the polish won't be here until Sunday I'm like uh I want to do my nails like before Sunday. Back at the house and I'm doing a top gel coat on my um, toes because I got regular polish this time. The guy, he was like, it's going to be $24 extra for gel polish, like on top of the um, pedicure. You know how they do the upcharge, but typically it usually be like $10, $15 extra, probably $15. But when he just said $24, I was like, oh no, I'm not getting gel polish today. No ma'am, give me regular polish. And he kept trying to talk me into getting gel. It lasts no good. It lasts no good. No, no, sir. Give me regular polish. I'm going to be careful until I get home. And then I'm doing my own top gel polish so my toes can last longer. But I refuse to pay an extra $24 for the gel polish. I've been doing a few home projects or just not home projects, just decorating around the house finally putting some things on the walls so this morning i put these pictures up y'all are gonna see it in a separate video because i'm combining just a couple of things that i'm doing throughout the house like we got some artificial grass to go on our patio y'all will see all of that in the separate vlog i don't know if it's gonna be up before this or that this or that one um these frames right here are from ikea 24 by 30 or 24 by 30 i'll link them down below for y'all got it from ikea i got the pictures printed out from cbs and i absolutely love how these frames look on the wall thinking about putting that on the wall and i'm thinking about getting like two ladder lat turns or something to go on the side of it i don't know i don't know i don't even know if i'm gonna keep that but i uh, i don't know so i'm so happy that i went ahead and did these pictures right here because i've been wanting to do that ever since we moved but i just 
kept putting it off, kept putting it off, kept putting it off. But I was like, you know what? Let's get some stuff on this wall. So we are getting ready to take the girls to swim. Then we're gonna go to the movies. I really want to go to Target today. I can't even remember why I was going to Target. But I wanna go to Target and I wanna go to Marshalls slash Home Goods because I want to look for some curtains and some rods. I may just get some curtains off of Amazon. I've been eyeing some that's up there as well, but I'm ready to put some curtains up as well, just to give it more of a homey vibe. I, I just still feel like we just moved in because we don't have much on the wall. Y'all just left swim practice for the girls and guess what? Oh, my camera's blurry. Yes, Let me wipe y'all off. What'd you say, Sky? Summer's leveled up. Let me see a little bit. Woo woo. So both of them have leveled up. They are in the second stage now. And they are what? Excelling Daddy. at swimming. So exciting. Daddy. I did my pop-up swim. Yeah, Skylar did pop-up swim. Or basically she swam for 10 feet. The distance was 10 feet. And she um, popped up in the middle and then went back down and finished swimming. Long way. Yeah, but we get ready to head in Target right now. They want to get a toy. We're doing so good in swim. What's up, y'all? We are waiting to go get something to eat. We're gonna try out this pizza place. We've never tried this pizza place out. We are waiting right now. We got a 25 minute wait, but we walked over. This is like a, the name of it is Share Tea, and they have Bubba. We actually tried a Bubba, the um, new drink from Starbucks. It's like the blue drink and they have the Bubba at the bottom. Am I saying it right? I feel like I'm not saying it right, but. Boba. Boba, it's Boba, okay. Boba. Um, it had the Boba at the bottom. How was this guy? We didn't like it. I don't like Jello, so Boba tastes Bubba. like, Bubba. <laughs> Bubba tastes like Jello and I'm not a fan. I mean Boba. Girl, Boba. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what it is. Y'all let us know. It's, okay, option number one, is it boba or option number two, bubba? <laughs> it's a bubba or bubba. Boba. 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 Sean is in there now. We should go in there and ask them. What is it called? Is it boba or bubba? Like an Oreo milkshake or it has to be like that? Tell the people what it is. This is an Oreo ice blend with pearls. Looks good. I get it. I give it like a six out of ten. It's really good. I mean, it's good. It's better. Than, I think six out of ten is good. Come on, Scott. Come on. You cannot say something really good. Okay, seven out of ten then. Oh, really good is like eight at least. You think an eight? Wait, really good? Okay. Uh, I mean, it's good, but. Yeah, but if I say something really good, I'm gonna give a six. <laughs> Our table is ready, y'all. We didn't even have to wait 25 minutes. That was like 10 minutes back, right? What's up, y'all? It is Saturday. It's the next day, and we just got to Frankie. We're getting ready to go have some fun. What you looking forward to, Scott? I'm going to do the job today. The drops are all oh man, you're gonna do that back to back. What's up, y'all? It is Sunday, May 26th, and I'm getting to head in full line, girl. Y'all see the full line sign? Y'all can't even see the full line sign. But my sister and the kiddos drove up. I, I'm saying kiddos like they are like small kids. My um well, they are kids. Anyways, my sister and her kids drove up last night and um, y'all got me some Juicy Crab <laughs> last night. Let me tell y'all about it because y'all know I was raving about Juicy Crab when we moved here and I was getting it all the time. And then Valerie went whenever she was here, Valerie Crab. And if you watch her videos and you watch her vlogs, y'all, she gave Juicy Crab a rating of a four. And... <laughs> because I had recommended it to her. And I'm like, a four? Like, let's be for real. Juicy Crab is bomb. I cannot understand why she gave Juicy Crab a four. But let me tell you something. I went last night. First of all, when I usually get my bag, it'd be smothered in sauce. That was the first thing. I'm like, where is the sauce? 
Like I need the extra salt. And then the second thing is like, it just did not taste the same. I'm like, what is this? Now I can see how she would have given them a four. So I was disappointed. I was highly disappointed. But I just had to say that because I was like, I was, I'm like, how did she give them a four? Like Juicy Grab is bomb. But honey, they starting to fall off and I don't like that. I'm getting ready to go on food line this morning because I need to get a few breakfast items so I can cook some breakfast for them. You know, I gotta be a host, okay? So, gonna go in there and get some like pancakes, some juice and stuff like that because we have none of that, none of that. Girl, look at my forehead. Oh, that's another topic for another day. I don't know what is going on with my skin, but girl, we gotta get it together because this is not it. This is unacceptable, like, no. Granted, I did go a week without using my skincare products, but honey, no. No, I never had this issue. Even on sometimes when I not as consistent with my skincare, I don't break out like this. I did have like a real bad breakout like this at the beginning of the year, and then I tried some new products, the Tula products, and it cleared it up. <sighs> so, we gotta get this under control. I'm like, what is going on with your girl? So let's run in here, get what we need, and then we're gonna have a fun field day today. I'm super excited because at Carol Wins, y'all, the water park opened up as well. So the plan is to do the water park first and then migrate over to the amusement park. Monday, May 26th, it's Memorial Day. So <clears throat> yesterday we went to Carowinds, we went to the water park, and we also went to the amusement park. We got out there around like two. We stayed at the water park until they closed. And they had a good amount of water slides and like kitty play areas where they have the slides over there for them. Did you enjoy the water park? Because yesterday was our first time ever going to the water park at Carowinds. Did you enjoy it? It was so much fun. It was kind of bigger than Six Flags. So this is how I like that. Did you think? Yeah, because they had two wave pools. Yeah, I like um, this Carowinds water park better, but I like Six Flags um, amusement, amusement park, park better. Yeah. Yeah, I think the same. Yeah. Well, the amusement park at Six Flags, they have more kitty rides. Um, no, the one here has more kitty rides, I feel like, than Six Flags. So we had so much fun. My sister and the kids just left this morning, headed back. And I didn't vlog too much yesterday just because I was having fun in the moment. I ended up getting on a water slide yesterday. We got in the wave pool. And then the rest of the time was spent at like the kitty area for them to get on and got on a couple slides over there with them. The amusement part was fun, y'all. It started pouring down rain, honey, when it was time for us to leave. But I got some candles from Yankee. It just came in, I think it came in yesterday or this morning. However, let's go through them. So this one right here is Pink Sand. Smells so, so good. Oh, so good. Sage and citrus. Yes, sage and citrus. I wish y'all could like smell it. And then this one right here is Midsummer's Night. I ordered some sticky notes off of Amazon and it's this brand right here. They are transparent because usually when I read my Bible, I use, which ones do I use? I use like the sticky notes like this and they're not transparent. Oh, they're right here. The thing about these are they're transparent. So when I stick it in the Bible, I'll still be able to see the words underneath where like I wrote it because I be having I be having sticky notes all on the pages and then I can't see any of the word because I've taken notes all over. So we're gonna try these out, see how they are. They're transparent. Got four different colors. I think I got the neutral set. I don't know if I told y'all, but I had initially planned to do some straight back for the water park, but girl, I ended up, so I said, cause y'all know in the beginning of the vlog, I had on a wig, right? But what I did was, I still had the braids from the crochet style, crochet, crochet style that I had previously. So I still had those old braids and I just put some crochet hair 
on top of those braids and girl the middle is nothing <laughs> okay like i didn't put no crochet hair in the middle i just did the perimeter enough to just put it in a ponytail where you can't see any, see anything so that was my style for yesterday i'll probably take this out and i need to shampoo my hair and do like a deep good deep conditioner but i did go to the beauty supply store because i did plan to do my hair and i picked up some more of this y'all screenshots i'll try to find a link because i think i did see on amazon but i like this edge and braid gel one thing i like about the ebon new york edge control is that it keeps my edges down however the thing i don't like is that it gives that white residue and in the beginning, it was not doing that. And I'm just trying to figure out why is it doing it now. Hold on, this is not as strong. I don't even know what I was saying, but I got this as well. It's a setting mousse for like your braids. So I'm going to, I'm trying this out. First time using this brand. I'm getting ready to finish making my tea. What you need? I don't know, cause it's supposed to rain, boo. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna look at the weather and see what it's like. And if it don't rain, we can go. Tea was just over there steeping. Remember, I got, okay, I got the raspberry tea in here and then I mixed it with the lemon balm. In the last vlog when we went to the grocery store, I showed y'all that, y'all, I've been, that raspberry has me in a chokehold. And I have not been able to get to Walmart so I can restock on my spiced blackberry. But baby, that raspberry is doing something to your girl. I absolutely love it. But um, I'm getting ready to, you know, mix everything in up y'all it is wednesday i don't even know what we left off in the vlog girl i don't know i don't know but however i was like i know i was vlogging i don't know what was going on in the vlog i know it was memorial day and i don't even feel like i vlogged a lot when we went to the amusement park and stuff anyways i need to go ahead and juice some of the stuff that i bought so what i'm going to actually what i'm getting ready to finish doing is making a smoothie i just made summer smoothie she just likes strawberry smoothie but i'm going to take the rest of this and i'm going to make a smoothie for me in my smoothies i have been putting this right here it's the black girl collagen powder so i'll put a scoop of this this right here so collagen y'all know what collagen is good for right supports healthy nails supports healthy skin and i feel like collagen is good for like your hair as well or is it just your nails and skin? I don't know, but I just know what's good for you. And skin, baby, we need that. And my skin has been going crazy. So I was like, you know what? We need to put some of that in this smoothie today to try to get this skin together. Like I haven't had any new breakouts and it's because I've really been on my skincare routine and just trying to make sure I'm just staying on top of clearing this up and preventing any other breakouts so i've been upping my intake on water and just making sure i feed my body the right feeds i like to add some pineapple in mine sometimes i'll add like frozen blueberries this is something else i like to add to my smoothies as well this is the super seed trio trio it has chia flax seeds flax seed meal and hemp in it it's in here. so good also i have not taken my vitamins and my iron pills for today so i need to re-up on my iron pills these are my iron pills that I take. I've been taking these for years now. It's the Blood Builder by Mega Food. I had to restock on those because I was completely out. Like I've gone through two bottles. I have bought this multivitamin. <sighs> I'm gonna try to take it consistently, but girl, the taste of it is just, I need to get another multivitamin. I didn't get another one just because I was going to try to take that liquid one, but mm, I can't. I'm out of these right here. And I was taking the Black Girl Vitamins, it's the D3. So I got these right here and I thought they were gummies, but they're chewable tablets. And I opened it up and I, I just, I just can't, I can't get with these. So it's like, let me show y'all. It's like a tablet and it's just like so powdery. I'm just like, Ugh, why didn't I not read, read, read? I just saw chewable and I was like, oh, it's probably like a gummy. But I really love the taste of these. So I'll probably just be buying another container of that and just 
maybe i don't know what i'm gonna do with these i might try to just take them just because i got them uh we have some celery cucumbers lemon so i think i'm just gonna make some celery cucumber lemon juice <laughs> so the apple is gonna add a little sweetness the oh she that one is bad okay we gotta throw her out but the lemon is just gonna add a little tartness to it honestly i just be throwing stuff together and it be coming out good <laughs> what's up lovely people it is the next day it is thursday and we just got home Skylar had gymnastic practice today and then y'all we went and tried out a new fits we also stopped by velvet taco y'all know i absolutely yeah. love me some velvet taco but i got some velvet taco i got the rotisserie chicken and then i also got the buffalo Oh, it was a buffalo, yeah, buffalo chicken taco. The new place that we tried out, the name of it is Homestyle Chicken. It's in Charlotte, downtown area. All right, y'all, so we got a chicken empanada. Looks like this. These chicken wings look so good. I forgot the flavor that I got on them. I got garlicky buffalo. And it was supposed to give me ranch, but they didn't. Sean got this mango drink, this mango lemonade. This looks so good. I cannot wait to try that. Macaroni and cheese, yams, and some shrimp. These are fried shrimp. I think I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. Just because y'all know like when it's in a container, it gets a little soggy like, and I want it crunchy. So I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. Y'all, let me tell y'all what Summer did. So, home girl, y'all know how like your phone and stuff, when it's in the case, it'll still get like sticky stuff on it so it was something on her ipad she caught herself cleaning her ipad off she went to the bathroom and she washed it in the sink so i've had it in rice and i think we just gonna have to count it a loss homegirl wash it at first it was still working and then like the next day the screen was just going black but it was like how can i be mad how could I be mad? Cause it was just like, the, like she was legit trying to just clean whatever was on it off. But she didn't know. She didn't know not to like emerge it in water. My face is looking better. I feel like, I think I showed y'all at the beginning of this vlog, but it is looking better. And I'm gonna do another face mask tonight. It's a, like a clay mask, a detoxifying clay, um, face mask that I've been using. So I'm gonna do that tonight. All right, y'all, let's try this chicken wing. Put it in the air fryer so it's a little crispy. Oh, my chicken is cooling out. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of Sean's food. Just his sides. So we're gonna get a little bit of macaroni and cheese. Mmm. Real tasty, real good. Let's get some of these jams. Pretty good. Mm. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I feel so good today. It's Friday, and I'm sitting here in my office reading. Girl, girl, girl. Y'all made this pillow when I was in seventh grade. Yeah, seventh or eighth grade. No, I think it was the, it was the eighth grade because I was at North Corner because sixth and seventh, I went to a different school. But I made this when I was in the eighth grade and I um, put my nickname on the back. But, oh, dang. Well, that's crazy. I still have this pillow. Made it in the eighth grade. But, girl, I am sitting here. Oh, I love these sticky notes. Y'all, I went. And I rewrote all the notes that I had taken on like the yellow. I haven't did it for like the other, um, like other times that I, uh, let me show y'all. Cause I usually, t I was taking um, notes on like the memo pads, but then I got these new ones that's transparent and I like them better. I like the fact that they are not as, like they're really thin. So even when I want to write on one page and like, 
typically like if I have one of these on the other page and I want to write in the margins, ooh, excuse me, it'll be like a little bumpy. But with these, I can't even feel that it's a sticky note on the other side. You know, it's not as bad as the other ones. I'm sitting here and I'm reading John chapter 8. When I tell you, it's been so good. Like Jesus, he won't play with them. He was telling them like it was, okay? No sugarcoating, none of that. He was just straightforward. And I love that. I absolutely love that. So I'm in chapter 8. And I'm reading now about how they're basically trying to catch Jesus and um, because they brought the woman to him saying that she committed adultery, right? So if he had agreed to what he said, what he said, what he said. Okay, so while Jesus was in the temple teaching, the scribes and Pharisees brought before him a woman caught in adultery. The law of Moses said that to stone her, but they wanted to know what Jesus thought they should do. They assumed they had Jesus in a catch. If he opposed to stoning her, he will be opposing to the law of Moses. But if he advocated her death, he will be in trouble with the Romans because the Jews under Roman rule weren't permitted to execute anyone. So clearly they had no interest in the righteous application of the law. As the author tells us, they were deceitfully trying to trap Jesus so they might have evidence to accuse him. Moreover, moreover, if the woman caught in adultery, were where was the man? The law required them both, the man and woman, to be judged. Therefore, it smells like a setup. But they didn't realize whom they were dealing with. Baby, they didn't know who they was playing with. Like, let's be so for real. I know Jesus like, come like really y'all, let's be so for real. Like when I'm reading the Bible, that's why I be like, <laughs> that's how I be talking. Like, Jesus, I know he was like, let's be so for real. Like y'all really trying to set me up? <laughs> like, come on y'all, let's really, really, really. But when I tell y'all chapter eight, like this whole book of John, so good and it's just, like really making me see like Jesus was not pl like play me better <laughs> and they was not trying to believe this man at all mm -mm -mm. yeah this is good this morning but anyways I'm gonna sit here and continue to read it's my watermelon I just wanted to pop in on y'all see how y'all doing today let me know in the comments how are y'all doing it is the last day of May May 31st, it's my mommy calling me, so I'm going to talk to her real quick. Good morning. Good morning, boo. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Girl, that's what I'm eating, too. Oh, watermelon is so good. I finally got a good one. God, this thing is so sweet. Mm. Straight cut it. Oh, for real? You eat your what's cold. I don't like mine cold. Mm -mm. I take um, it and I sit it out. Yeah. I don't know why, yeah, I do that too, but I can't eat it.